dear students today's lecture is for semester 6 surface chemistry which is a, a topic which is a chapter of physical chemistry and the specific topic is adsorption isotherms we know that adsorption depends upon the following factors nature of adsorbent nature of adsorbate or gas surface area of adsorbent temperature and pressure if the nature if the adsorbent is same adsorbate is same surface area is same and temperature is same then we can develop a relationship between the amount of gas adsorbed on a given mass of adsorbent and pressure and this relationship which is present which is developed between the amount of gas adsorbed on a given mass of adsorbent and pressure is known as adsorption isotherm so what is adsorption isotherm adsorption isotherm is a relationship between the amount of gas adsorbed ya mass of gas adsorbed on a given mass of adsorbent and pressure provided the temperature is kept constant as we are developing this relationship at constant temperature as the temperature is kept constant therefore this relationship is known as adsorption isotherm adsorption iso therm or it is also called iso means same therm mean temperature it is also called adsorption equation now this relationship can also be represented graphically and the curve which is obtained is also known as a adsorption isotherm now there are different types of adsorption isotherms adsorption isotherms are of different types the first one is known as friendlich adsorption isotherm and the second one is known as langmuir's adsorption isotherm langmuir's langmuir adsorption isotherm and the third one is known as gibbs adsorption isotherm so adsorption isotherm is the relationship between the amount of gas or mass of gas adsorbed on a given mass of adsorbent and pressure provided that temperature is kept constant this relationship may be in the form of an equation which is known as adsorption equation or it may be in the form of a curve which is drawn between x by m and temperature and pressure and it is known as adsorption isotherm now there are three types of adsorption isotherms uh, number 1 friendlich adsorption isotherm langmuir's adsorption isotherm and gibbs adsorption isotherm which are included in your course of bs chemistry for semester 6 now we come to the first adsorption isotherm which is known as friendlich adsorption isotherm and we discuss its details we discuss friendlich adsorption isotherm friendlich was a chemist who derived the following relationship between the amount of gas adsorbed on a given mass of adsorbent and pressure and his empirical relationship developed by friendlich can be mathematically written as this friendlich adsorption equation can be written as x by m or w by m whatever we want to write w by m is equal to k p raised to power 1 over n we are in this case w is the mass of gas adsorbed m 
is the mass of adsorbent on which the gas is undergoing adsorption mass of adsorbent or solid p is the applied pressure of gas above the adsorbent surface k is a constant which depends upon it is a constant which depends upon nature of adsorbent nature of adsorbate and temperature n is also a constant which depends upon nature of adsorbate or gas temperature and pressure nature of adsorbate temperature and pressure no we can convert this equation into an equation of straight line by taking log on both sides by taking logarithm on both sides to convert this equation into equation of straight line we take taking log taking logarithm on both sides we get log of w by m is equal to log of k into p raised to power n 1 by n or we know for this portion for right hand side we know that log of a into b is equal to log a plus log b expanding the term we get log w by m is equal to log k plus log of p raised to power 1 by n for the last portion we know that log of x raised to power n is equal to log n log x therefore we can get log w by m is equal to log k plus 1 over n log p rearranging the equation slightly rearranging this equation we get log w by m is equal to 1 by n log of p plus log k here we have equation number 1 and let us suppose it is equation number 2 now this equation number 2 is a type of straight line equation it is an equation of straight line we had some we had already discussed in semester 5 what is equation of straight line now we have got an equation log w by m 1 over n log p plus log k which is equation of straight line i am writing this equation log w by m is equal to by n log p plus log of k equation number 2 now any equation i want to refresh your memory that any equation of the type y is equal to mx plus c or some other forms of this equation may also be present but any equation of this type is called equation of straight line where y is variable and it is dependent variable x is also variable but it is independent variable the value of y changes when we change the value of x so we say that y depends upon x m is a constant and c is also another constant no if we compare it in this case log w by m is represented by y 1 over n is uh, equal to m log p is equal to x and log k is equal to c now in this case log w by m and log p they are variables yani whenever we change the external pressure of gas on the surface of adsor adsorbent the rate of adsorption or the extent of adsorption changes uh, with the, the change in pressure 
Now in this case, for any equation of straight line, which is of the type y is equal to mx plus c, if we find out the values of y for different values of x and plot a graph, and if we, uh, we find out the values of, uh, we change x and we find the values of y. And then we plot a graph by taking y along ordinate and x along abscissa. This line is known as, horizontal line is called abscissa and the vertical axis is known as ordinate. So we take the values of y along ordinate and we take the values of x along abscissa so that we get any type of line. We get a line of this type. Let us suppose that we get a straight line. Now here, this portion of the curve, the distance to point y, when x is equal to 0, it is known as intercept. The intercept is equal to c. And the slope of line if we find out, if we draw a horizontal line and we find the angle theta, then take tangent theta, tangent of this angle is known as slope of the curve and this slope is equal to the constant m. Slope is equal to constant m and intercept is equal to constant c. Now in our equation, uh, which is Friendlich equation, a friendlich adsorption equation if we find out similarly if we change pressure the amount of gas adsorbed will also change so if we find out the values of log p and experimentally measure log w by m we get different values and then we plot a graph between log w by m along ordinate and log p along abscissa and we get a straight line. We get a straight line whose intercept gives the value of log k from which we can calculate the value of constant k by taking its anti-log. We know the value of log k from the intercept by taking it, its anti-log we can find out the value of k. The slope of the line, the slope of this curve, this curve is known as adsorption isotherm. The slope of this curve will be given by tangent theta and it gives us the value of 1 by n. It is equal to 1 by n and from this value we can calculate the value of n by inverting the value. Now it, it has been observed that this cause at very high pressures, this cause deviates from the straight line. The straight line is there is no more straight line. So it shows that friendlich adsorption equation is not obeyed, is not followed at high pressures. At high pressure, the value of 1 over n is equal to 0, p raised to power 0, p raised to power 1 over n is equal to p raised to power 0 is equal to 1 and log of w by m is equal to log k 1 over n is equal to 0 value by n is equal to log k so the adsorption is independent of pressure at very high pressures the adsorption becomes constant now the question is why the adsorption becomes constant at very high pressure in the initial stages let us suppose we have a solid surface which is naked and this adsorbent is dropped in a sample of gas with variable pressure whose pressure can be increased. Initially, the surface is fully exposed, all the adsorption sites are open, therefore the gas molecules can adsorb on the surface. 
as the pressure of gas is increased the number of collisions between the gas molecules and the adsorbent surface increase as a result as the pressure increases the rate of adsorption increase at a certain pressure all the sides are fully occupied the surface is fully covered with gas molecules and further increase in pressure does not increase the extent of adsorption that is why at very high pressure uh, the rate of adsorption or extent of adsorption usually becomes constant now this empirical relationship which is all which is called friendlich adsorption isotherm can not only be applied for the adsorption of gases on solids but it can also be applied for the adsorption of uh, liquids on solids it is also applicable to solutions for example if we have a solution of acetic acid acetic acid is present in solution and we put powdered charcoal powdered activated charcoal into this solution let us suppose it is activated charcoal then the acetic acid will adsorb on the surface of the animal charcoal or activated charcoal now in this case the specific equation is uh, we can write a friendlich adsorption equation as log w by m is equal to k c raised to power 1 by n where c is the molar concentration of acetic acid or we can say we can also express this concentration in ppm we can also express this concentration in ppm or in molarity as the case may be the equation number 3 is for those cases where we have a component present in solution and it is absorbing it is absorbing on a solid no in this case also the sorry the logarithmic form or straight line equation will be log of w by m is equal to 1 over n log of c plus log of k here we will also get a, an equation we will plot a graph between log, log of w by m along y axis and log of c along x axis or abscissa and we will get a straight line in this case also we will observe deviation from the straight line at very high molar concentrations at very high concentration the graph will deviate from a straight line so it is the failure of friendlich equation that it is not obeyed at very high pressure of gas or very high concentration of solutions inshallah we will perform an experiment regarding the friendlich equation and maybe the next video lecture will be the about the experiment and its performance and calculation and about the graph which we will get allah hafiz